Now let us discuss on optimal taxation. There is a fundamental normative question in the theory of taxation. What are the best taxes to levy in order to raise a certain amount of revenue? And this uh, question uh, leads to the criteria of uh, determining the uh, optimal taxation. The government raises revenue either through imposition of lump sum tax or commodity tax or income tax. It has to deal with questions pertaining to taxation such as how to decide an appropriate tax base, whether to use commodity tax or income tax or a mix of both. And third question is how to decide upon a balance between direct and indirect tax. And the fourth question is how to determine the degree of uh, progressivity of uh, tax system. Suppose the government chooses different commodity taxes in the form of unit taxes. It would change the consumer's preference due to differences in the price ratio or the marginal rate of substitution in consumption. Similarly, if the government decided to levy taxes on individual's income, it will change the after-tax wage rate and thereby impact on the income consumption pattern of individuals. Consequently, the optimal choice between work and leisure gets distorted. Thus, tax distort the optimal choice of the taxpayers resulting in their welfare laws, such as uh, such dead weight loss leads to excess burden that is uh, in addition to tax it is an additional burden on the top of the usual tax. From the efficiency perspective any rise in public revenue is achieved through a low rate of tax on a relatively inelastic broad base. The task needs to be performed in such a way that multiple taxation of the same base are avoided. From equity perspective, the collected revenue should be borne by the least flexible tax base. Government tries to strike a balance between efficiency and equity across taxpayers of different means. That means there is a vertical equity or across taxpayers of identical means there is a horizontal equity. This brings in the issue of trade-off between the efficiency and equity in the process of tax collection. The theory of optimum taxation addresses these questions by attempting to design the tax structure that allows the best trade-off between equity and efficiency. The standard theory posits that the tax system should be chosen which minimize, sorry, which maximize the uh, social welfare function subject to a set of constraints. The optimal tax analysis helps to obtain the set of taxes that maximizes the welfare level as well as the, uh, as well as it raises the revenue. The optimal uh, taxation system, suppose the government opts to raise revenue through a lump sum tax that is fixing an amount for all individuals irrespective of their characteristics. This would not induce behavioral responses and hence there is no inefficiency involved in the system. Alternatively, if the government decided to levy progressive tax on individuals, it makes it redistributive in nature serving the equity perspective. A redistribution scheme based on the innate ability of individual is termed as first best redistribution scheme. The innate ability would however be known only to the individuals but not to the government. In view of this, since the government can observe the earnings of individuals, it taxes the income of individuals. This is termed as the second best redistribution scheme. In an optimal tax system, government levies a set of taxes so that the revenue generated can be spent on development of public goods and services. In other words, an optimal tax system explores a Pareto efficient tax structure that maximizes a welfare function subject to satisfying the constraints of fairness or equity. Let us move on to the different criteria that determines the optimal tax uh, structure. While a revenue uh, generation system depends on a set of possible taxes, the government's problem often lies in the choice between 
indirect or direct taxation based on certain criteria. Sanu 1976 identified a set of three optimality criteria as follows. The first one is the cost minimization principle. An optimal tax system should minimize the resource cost incurred in assessment and administration that is collection cost and cost to the taxpayers in terms of money, time and effort involved in paying tax etc. should be the minimum. The tax system usually involves cost of collection to the authorities and a resource cost to the taxpayers. However, in deciding on alternative taxpayers, usually the collection cost on the part of the tax authorities are alone considered. The cost of the taxpayer is usually ignored. Tax payment involves a cost to the taxpayers in terms of money and other resources. Therefore, at the time of uh, uh, so at the time of uh, preparing this tax uh, structure, the authority should uh, test the relative effect of the different tax upon the resource endowment, thrift initiative, etc. of the individuals before uh, framing the a uh, suitable uh, tax structure pattern. And the second criteria is the fairness or equity. This is the criteria of justice or fairness related to the ability to pay taxes, cost of service provided, and amount of benefit received. The Equity criteria highlights the justice in the distribution of tax burden. It's a very important criteria for optimal taxation. However, can we attain a just and equitable allocation of uh, tax burden? So, uh, then next we can move on to the third criteria that is economic efficiency. Uh, an optimal tax system should lead to least possible deadweight loans on account of distortion due to behavioral responses. That means that economic, uh, economic efficiency is an important criteria to judge the best mix of taxation. Here is no one tax can considered as the better than the other taxes regarding the question as to what combination of taxes would be the best from an efficiency point of view. This is uh, the so-called optimal tax problem. Tax mix should consist the taxes which produce the minimum distortions in uh, resource allocation. Optimal taxation is based on three important uh, decisions. They are the decisions as uh, to the aggregate volume of taxation and its composition between direct and indirect taxation. And the second decision is the composition of a direct tax rate schedule. And the third one is the composition of a indirect tax rate schedule. The efficiency of commodity taxation is uh, usually considered in terms of its uh, resource allocation effect. The best resource allocation usually considered in welfare economics is that of uh, Pareto optimality or Pareto optimal uh, effect. An optimal tax structure uh, in a Pareto efficiency or in a, a, par a Pareto efficient tax structure is one such that there exists no alternative tax structure which can make some individual better off without making other individual in a worse of condition. Keeping aside the Pareto optimality, one solution to the optimal taxation is that of imposing a lump sum tax. If all individuals were identical and were treated for tax purpose identically, a lump sum, uh, lump sum uh, tax would be the only efficient tax. It will not affect neither the marginal cost of production to the producers nor marginal utilities of uh, purchases to the consumers. Any other tax would introduce distortions. Hence, by lump sum tax, the government could raise the same amount of revenue and make each individual better off. Uh, better off. In the real world, things are more complicated in terms of income, marginal utility schedule, etc. Individuals differ. 
A government wish to redistribute the income on the base of equity. Moreover, the government wish to make different people pay different taxes. Hence, all those uh, decisions would have its distributive and welfare repercussions. In the case of uh, indirect taxation, Pareto optimality may not be taken as the criteria of uh, efficiency. Pareto optimality ignores the widespread existence of externalities. Moreover, an increase in saving uh, and investment pattern can accelerate the pace of economic development. Both these uh, probabilities are uh, ignored under Pareto optimality. Hence, uniform taxation of all goods at all uh, percentage rates would amount to raising the same tax revenue on a lump sum basis. This is so because all tech, uh, taxpayers experience a proportionate reduction in their incomes. Hence, this tax has no resource allocation uh, effect. Thus, any tax on any input that is not uniform across all firms or any tax on any output that is not uniform across all firms resulted in the economy not being productively efficient. On the other hand, if a variation in demand elasticities is allowed for commodities cannot be taxed at uniform rates. Hence, a lump sum tax will not affect the productive efficiency and resource allocation location uh, process. Therefore, in a developing uh, or an underdeveloped country uh, in which there are many barter transactions and in which level of keeping records extra very low, it is difficult to enforce an income tax. In such a situation, commodity taxation must be relayed on to redistribute income and to ensure that burden of taxation is equitably uh, distributed. In optimal taxation, the social welfare and efficiency aspect of taxation should be given importance. Moreover, trade between equity and efficiency objective of taxation should be maintained.